Hello, good people. This is my landlord's kitchen garden. As you can see, I've introduced this kind of uh, gardening to this place and uh, they are doing very well. This is spinach. In a wheelbarrow body. Collards. In containers. And the sacks. Black nightshade. This is another one. Spinach. Four dog giant spinach. With the big leaves. Raised moisture bed tomatoes so as you can see people are coming up with this kind of project and uh, it is helping them a lot so today I want to reorganize this kitchen garden into a standard one as you can see here i've made some holes whereby i'm going to erect a structure to put these sacks and containers there are good reasons why i raise the sacks and containers e.g to avoid conflict from your birds or animals that you keep around Two days later, this is how the kitchen garden looks like after reorganizing it. I erected the structure, then raised the containers and the sacks. After that, I planted uh, some vegetables, as you can see here. These are the for dog giant spinach and also the rainbow spinach or a swiss card these are the beetroots i planted in this container then uh, all the way this is the spinach also for dog giant spinach i prepared these containers and planted the seedlings in them i know you've been following me you know how to prepare the containers and the sacks for planting as you can see, the kitchen garden looks standard and representable. Very beautiful. After a month later, this is how the vegetables are doing. They are progressing very well very healthy and fresh growing very fast so this is how you're supposed to take care of your vegetables in order to get a good result so there are some gardening practices that you are supposed to carry out 
in order to achieve this kind of result. One, you must do what we call weeding so that to discourage the competition of nutrients uh, from the weeds. Then you must add some manure, either chicken manure or cow or any other animal manure so that to add the nutrients in the soil that is you have put in the containers and the sacks. Also, you must water very well your vegetables, have a good routine of watering carefully your vegetables. So those are the things that I've been doing all through up to this point. So far so good, I think I'm going to achieve my objective. And after two months now, you can see the result. Vegetables are doing very well. Growing big and healthy. Starting from this moisture-raised bed, I planted the renewable Swiss card spinach, as you can see here. And so far so good, they are doing very, very, very well. I'm very happy to see this result helping people around to get their own vegetables which they can feed their families. Remember, these are organic vegetables that we don't use fertilizers or any other chemicals to grow them. We only use manure, chicken manure, and the cow dog manure. This is one way of encouraging you out there to start such a kind of a kitchen garden and you are going to benefit. As you can see, I use symbol containers to grow the vegetables. For example, these containers, these are water, mineral water containers. After we consume our water, We reuse the bottles to grow our vegetables. This is other kind of uh, container, the one you know, which we use to store water. This is a plastic bucket that we use to grow our vegetables here. This is a simple sack, sugar sack, which is converted into a planting material. This is a cement sack. After we use our cement in construction, we convert it into a planting sack. As you can see, it is holding a very, very big spinach, for the oak giant spinach, with the very big leaves. Symbol work with the big harvest. So my good people, I urge you out there 
to start your own kitchen garden and you are going to get big harvest and a benefit with your family. Down here, these are the pumpkin and the beetroots I planted and they are planted in a, a wheelbarrow body that we have used to grow these beetroots and the pumpkin. As you can see, they are doing very well. You can see the pumpkin is creeping around the tank. And soon I know we are going to get the pumpkin fruits. Don't hesitate to start. If you need any help, you can contact me and I will advise you or direct you what to do. Or follow me in social media, in Facebook, Orina Dominic, in my group, Sacks and Containers Gardening Tips, in my YouTube, Orina Dominic, subscribe and uh, you are going to learn a lot also you can contact me for any help that you need if you want me to set up such kind of a kitchen garden for you i can do it perfectly so thank you my good people and be blessed.